Welcome to The Connected Business. I'm Paul Taylor, editor of The Connected Business. And with me today is Peter Sondergaard, who is the uh, guy in charge of all of Gartner's research, the big cheese, if you like. Uh, Peter, you gave a marvelous uh, keynote speech this morning. A lot of it seemed to be about big data. What, what's going on there? Why is it so important, do you think, to your audience? Well, so what, what we think is happening with big data is that there's this shift. Companies are starting to realize that uh, data or information equals to revenue. Uh, and many companies, therefore, are able to now look at how they create uh, within business units opportunities to drive that revenue. That then drives a whole market for services that uh, enable the creation of that revenue, both services inside uh, the company as well as also services uh, that are external. And we're starting to see this in several business units, like uh, in marketing, where we actually expect that the majority of big data services will be external for marketing. So market organizations or marketing organizations will outsource this uh, in terms of the analysis of the data. I was struck by uh, some numbers you had, or I think evidence that you said there was uh, that companies that have a viable big data uh, strategy also appear to be being rewarded on Wall Street for that. Yes. So. Uh, what we would term infocentric or information centric companies, so companies that are starting to turn information into revenue, they're actually being rewarded with having uh, double the market book value uh, than, than on average what you see in other organizations. So that's true. You are seeing uh, companies now being able to drive more revenue off of a similar, only slightly growing cost base. Right. The other point you made very strongly was about the economic impact and the job impact of, of uh, taking data and turning it into useful information, big data. Those numbers are also pretty spectacular. Yes. I mean, what, what we will need are people that understand how to handle data, how to analyze the data. They will be both uh, in the technology organization and they will be in the business unit. We believe that there will be, on a global level, the next four years, a need for 4.4 million IT-related big data jobs, of which 1.9 uh, will be here in the United States. Are, they actually, are, are the people there to fill those jobs? Well, see, that's the big problem. Unfortunately, they are not. Um, this is where I think our education system is mm -hmm. slow uh, at best, maybe even has failed us in some instances. And frankly, also where organizations themselves, whether private business or public sector organizations, is not focusing enough on developing that level of skill set. Right. So only a third of those jobs will actually be filled. You also uh, spend a lot of time in, in your keynote talking about, uh, well, the cloud, obviously, but also mobile and social. And I was particularly struck by what you had to say about social and, and mobile. And social, you, you had a pretty dire prediction, I felt, about the, the consumer uh, social businesses. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I mean, the, the consumer environment, some of the big social networks will, will stall. I mean, there simply aren't more human beings on Earth. Right. Uh, so that's the first thing. Now, social media becomes more advanced, but as anything advances, deceptive or negative things emerge out of that. And so, and so what will happen is essentially that uh, you'll start to see these deceptive practices. You'll have automated posts that happen. You will, in some instances, have machines that are generating posts. Um, that's all part of a natural evolution of the right. environment. Right, and it will get sort of sifted out and, and so on. Yes, and then yeah. what, but what will happen is we'll bring sort of some of these technologies and capabilities inside businesses and we'll be able to uh, in many instances, exploit the technology to really derive collaboration inside a business to right. integrate with the platforms that we today use. And that's where the real innovation is going to start to happen over the next couple of years, is usage of the concepts in our software platforms internally. Right. Thank you very much indeed, Peter. Thank you.